this here is the tandem tiny house located at the Caravan Tiny House Hotel. And this is where I stayed for one week during a business trip to Portland. I stayed here because I wanted to get a feel for what it was like to stay in a tiny house before considering building my own. Um, this tiny house is 160 square feet and I want to take you inside and show you what it's like. First things first though, I do want to apologize to Deb and Cole, the owners of the Tiny House Hotel, that I should have taken this video when I first arrived and the place was nice and clean. So I've done my best to clean it before shooting this video. Um, but here we've entered into the kitchen area. Um, and what you see here is a nice little two-person dining table. Over here, we have uh, a single bed on top with a memory foam mattress, and there's actually a trundle bed underneath, so that's really a nice sleeping option for one, maybe two people. Above, we have a nice storage loft, and just ballparking this, I would say that this is uh, this little cubby here is about seven feet of head clearance here, so that's pretty good. Um, you've got nice storage up there, um, bedding that's the width of the tiny house, which is about eight feet, and I think that apex height is about three feet eight inches, so there's, there's some nice storage up there along with the windows. One of the things about this house that I really like is how many windows there are, and the fact that it's an open floor plan means you get some really great circulation through here. So here, uh, well, let's say on the ground floor first, uh, we have the bathroom back here. And what we see, we have, uh, they actually have a flushing commode in here, which is nice. And then a shower, and this shower, it's probably a little dark in here to see this. Let me turn on the light. Um, the shower itself, I'm going to bet, if, you, if those are 12 inch tiles, you can see it's probably a little more than two feet by two feet, which I found to be perfectly sufficient. Uh, they, the nice thing, they provide all these really nice shampoos and soaps here, um, but this, this size shower was really nice. And then there's a window for good ventilation. Let's step back out here and talk a little bit about the kitchen. Sorry, I haven't put the iron away. Um, Deb and Cole provide a really nice assortment of uh, teas and coffee and and the house comes with uh, you know pots and pans and silverware and cups and plates and um, they use a hot plate here for uh, for all of your cooking needs. I didn't get to cook too much but I did make uh, coffee and whatnot in the morning and it was really good. Um, here is the refrigerator and there is actually a small ice box in there. The one thing about this is that you can see the ladder is kind of in the way for opening the refrigerator, but that's okay because this ladder actually can be picked up and slid across the opening here or even moved to the other side to the storage loft. So you can get the ladder out of the way when you most need to. Now I'm gonna take you upstairs. Um, it's probably one of the biggest questions about tiny living is where do you sleep and what's that sleeping space like? So we're gonna climb this ladder up here. And here is the, the loft. And what you see here, uh, and this is probably the hardest thing that I had in trying to clean this, was just figuring out how to make the bed. I still haven't figured that out. Um, but that's okay because they have an excellent cleaning guy and I was, it was pristine when I got here. Um, so there's a window down there that I have the curtain pulled in front of and you also have a very nice skylight here. Uh, this is a queen size bed and I would say that it's, it's very easy for one person to get up here. Um, you have a nice high apex here. Two people uh, might require a little bit of planning, but it can definitely be done. And certainly if you're into camping or backpacking or anything like that, it's not that at all a big deal. And then they have uh, power down there and light switches. So if you wanted to have watch your laptop in bed, uh, you can do so. And that's actually what I did with, with the Wi-Fi. I watched, you know, I just watched movies up in bed here as I was going to sleep. So hopefully this has given you an overview of what it's like to live in the tandem. I imagine the other tiny houses are very similar here on the property, but Deb and Cole are great. They are really into the tiny house movement and can answer any questions that you might have, such as things like, oh, I don't know, hot water heaters, electric, RV hookups, and what it's like to be in the tiny house movement. So thanks for watching. Thank you, Deb and Cole. I absolutely love my time here and I cannot wait to come back. Have a good one.